afternoon, it's Stuart from Cliberty Walks. I'm uh, doing a uh, three mile loop today. I'm doing a, th doing a three mile loop today with these reprobates. And we're walking from Cliberty Mortimer Golf Club. Um, best thing to do if you want to do this walk is to ring ahead and ask them if you can use their car park. We've got wonderful facilities, there's a bar, plenty of food. And uh, essentially, I'd encourage you to use our facilities after you've done the walk. So we are heading down the drive and uh, I'll pick you up again there. So we're assuming from this walk that you've asked permission from the golf club to park here. We're heading up the drive, which isn't actually a public right of way. There is a footpath running to the left of it, but because uh, we've asked permission, we're being a bit cheeky. It's an absolutely beautiful golf course here. And there's all these beautiful lodges as well. Um, so you can put your caravan here. We are now in early January 2022. And yesterday the weather was disgraceful, but today it's not bad at all. So there we go. Oh, we've got a straggler. <laughs> It's all right, don't worry. <laughs> when we get to the uh, road, we turn right and we take the second footpath on the left. We've got an absolutely beautiful view today. Look. South Shropshire at its finest. So we're heading up towards that house up on the uh, bend there. It's 2.9 miles. So our uh, footpath is on the left just before this house. And we're heading through the old Mean Savage Millennium Garden, which unfortunately nowadays is somewhat neglected. Go straight through there and we uh, go through a, a gate onto the footpath on the hill on the other side. So we're turning left here. Hang on. Oh, yeah. And there's a gate there on the left. So here we are, Millennium Garden. Somewhat overgrown and neglected. Beautiful sunshine, there's a little bit of warmth in it. I still haven't worked out what that pompkin is on the back of Jane's bag. But <laughs> uh, we go straight through to the gate on the other side and follow the same sort of bearing down the right hand side of the field. <laughs> so, we're heading down the uh, right hand side of the field. Jane's still a little wee bit camera shy. I'm sure she'll get used to it in the end. It's quite wet underfoot today, but uh, it's a lovely walk. We've got gaiters on, which are a really good choice for a walk like today. So, if we just follow this down and follow our nose, we'll end up by the new bridge at the bottom of Clibbury. And uh, we'll pick you up with a few more directions there. This group of guys is a, uh, a group that my girlfriend is involved in and they've adopted me like one of their own <laughs> and they're great fun to be with. Right, this bit's going to be fun. Yep, little spaniel. Uh, you hear the traffic in the background now, we're getting towards the, uh, yeah, down to the new bridge. So, we're looking for a footpath on our right now that disappears into the trees. And then we're, that, no we're not, we're going to go up over the road. Oh, I see what you mean. 
So here's the uh, path coming up on our right hand side. It's going to be muddy and slippy so we've all got to be a bit careful. But it looks delightful doesn't it? Right here we go, here goes nothing. Now go up high. Oi! This is a bit... God! <laughs> oh, that's not too bad. That's what he says just before he ends up in his arse. Oh. Here comes everybody else. There we go. When we get down to this uh, kissing gate, the fence next to it's been knocked down, we're going to cross the road and head left. Now, use your ears as much as anything else. We're heading up the hill in a minute. Up this hill past Castle Toot and we're taking the bridleway on the right hand side down the field. It's featured in one of my videos previously and then we're heading on to the Morley estate. Just be careful with that road crossing because it is quite dangerous. Keep your ears open. You can hear traffic before you see it. Here we go coming up on Castle Toot. The views of Morley are soon going to be to our well, just off to our uh, right hand side and fair play to the council they've extended the speed limit 40 mile an hour speed limit all the way up here it's a fantastic idea keep people safe on that bend at the bottom so another 150 yards and we're going to turn right down the field on a track Beautiful, beautiful day. So we turn right just uh, after this seat and head down the field on the track. And we're bearing round to the left along the river eventually and then up round Morley. What a sensational day. So our path bears round to the left here. I mean, the trees you can see in the distance are the, uh, the line of the river. And we're going to be dropping down to the river at the upper forge and then in heading up round the walled gardens at Morley up onto the top. There we go. Hey Joe, that's your mum that is. Right, so we are now heading down the field here. It's quite an obvious track uh, and uh, quite good underfoot. <laughs> Thud. <laughs> That'll be the next thing. But no, we're heading down here and we'll soon be on the Morley estate. At the moment we're on uh, Morley Town farmland, if, I, if I'm correct. It's quite a well-walked path. Now when we get on to Morley, make sure you keep your dogs on the lead. Uh, the guy has upgraded the footpath fantastically there. So the best we can do is respect him and keep dogs under control, keep to public rights of way, and then there's not going to be any trouble from anybody. See the path disappearing there, there's way marker uh, discs on the fence. And we're heading down here. And we should be picking up a, a bark chip track. Well, it looks like it might be a bit muddy. So, better turn the video camera around for everybody going down like skittles. <laughs> Woo! There we go. <laughs> there we go. Got to clamber over this log as well, which is always fun for people with short leg. 
quick update. <laughs> Conditions underfoot could be classed as being moist. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's damp. But so we head past this sign, and the ladies down there are on the bark chip track, and we've got the river re to our right hand side. So the bark chip has basically become mud over the winter, but it's still an easy to walk if slightly squidgy track and beautiful beautiful place oh this is going to be fun <laughs> you can hear the roar of the rapids there at the upper forge there's a footbridge just through the trees there if you headed over the footbridge you could go straight on up the hill and come out uh, on uh, the Baton Road, just out of Clibbury. Or you could turn right, where those people are walking, and you would head up and come out at the bottom of Pinkham Lane. But our route lies forward. I can't think why many people didn't wear gaiters. So there's the uh, footbridge. Goes back out to Clibbury. We're cracking on this way now. Walk it in the road. Our track or path lays up to the left. And then uh, we'll bring you up round the walled gardens at Morley. It's quite a stout climb now for a few hundred metres. You get it all out the way in one go though. When I walked up here before, there's a goat enclosure up at the top. I say enclosure, I think it's fenced off to keep other things out because they didn't seem to want to be in there. It's a bit slippery now, but keep putting one foot in front of the other, we will get to the top. So this is the room, the walled garden at Morley. It's been repaired to an absolutely excellent standard. Guess what this estate needs? <laughs> Peacocks up on the wall. And here's the goats up on our left. So we've got geese on the right of us, goats on the left. Again, up the middle with you. That probably sounded a lot better if I wasn't out of breath. Oh guys, the top of this effing Jeffin hill cannot come fast enough. It's one thing walking on the dry, but when you're paddling through mud, it's enough to grind you down. But here we are, 100 metres, and we are on the drive. So when we arrive here, we Go straight over down that way. In the week, this is full of contractors' cars. And I'm very pleased to say that the current owner is really investing in the property. Oh, there's photos happening down there by the look of it. A view back towards Clibbury, Sadler's Barn Farm, Clibbury in the distance through the trees. So that was the last hill on our walk today. And we're heading along here now. And along here, unless they've changed it, there's a footpath diversion because they've uh, taken some forestry out. But uh, if, they, if they ask you to go on a diversion, it's always very polite to agree with it, even though you'd be strictly within your rights to walk across the original footpath. There's our footpath which would have taken us across straight over to there but there's a very polite sign here footpath diversion temporarily closed please use route shown in red 
which is along the tracks. And it's been the same for a couple of years. So, obviously, got some plans for this piece of land to our left. Now, if we follow this track all the way along, we'd pop out at the back of what was Morley Oak Garage, uh, next to East Lodge. But we're turning left in a few minutes. Diversion coming up on the left. We're heading up here a few hundred metres and we'll be turning right and crossing the main road. It's quite nice underfoot here, it's the, it hasn't had so much traffic that the bark chip is completely broken down. Oh, that looks tasty. Right then. Mmm. Right, here we go. Here we go, decisions, decisions. Right. Oh, that's deep. I don't mind. There we go. Yeah, this is oh. alright. Oh! <laughs> yeah. This is why I'm glad I've left my dog at home. You'd be surprised that coat would keep the mud off, although she might be wet underneath it. Keep the mud off her, hopefully. hopefully anyway. She's a good girl. She is a good girl at times. Except for the pheasants about her, sorry. <laughs> So we're looking for a footpath on our right hand side that goes you know, a few metres to the road. It's not very far now. I think I can just see something coming into view. So over the other side of the road we can see our finger post for the footpath. And there's a diversion sign stapled to a tree here. So we turn right, scoot up through there, and then cross the road. On what appears to be a stream bed. So we're heading up the right hand side of this field and there's a kissing gate at the end. Yeah. An update on conditions underfoot, that's very deep. Uh, like paddy field type deep. <laughs> yeah. Coming up on the kissing gate, we go through and follow the bearing on the footpath arrow straight over the hump. We're looking for a gate on the other side of the field. The pathway across this field is quite well defined. Dog can come off the lead for a bit now. Yep. So there's Morley Town Farm and the golf club is right in front of us and the, oddly enough less than 500 meters to go till we're back coming over the crest of the hill 
and you can see the footpath in front of us and we're dropping into a bit of a dingle here shouldn't be too bad fingers crossed uh, it's quite dry up here so we shall see we're crossing over a brook on a footbridge and then on the other side we're on the uh, golf club and then into the chasm there's the footbridge actually looks okay be on YouTube <laughs> you'll be all right It'll be cuter when everybody gets down there when everyone's still upright. <laughs> it's on one of my walks. It's mine. <laughs> I'll put the YouTube link up. Here comes the pupper. Hey, hey, steady. Yeah. I'm going to put this video up on YouTube. I'll put a link on the group. Comes the best behaved spaniel in the world. Do you want a walking stick? I have spares. Best behaved spaniel in the world. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> well. <laughs> and at the top of here, we're back on the golf course. <laughs> Your dog is exceptionally beautiful. So the buildings you can see up through the trees are the golf club and we are back where we started 2.9 miles no it's 2.9 good ones <laughs> this is the equivalent of my morning walk every day before work so uh, one of them the old dog's too old now. Thank you. So here we go. We are back in the car park of the golf club. Everybody's had a good time. Everybody stayed upright. Nobody's crying. So I'll call that a success. <laughs> It's been a lovely walk and a lovely afternoon with fantastic company. I'd just like to thank you one more for uh, inviting me into your group. You're great.